Uh, so viewers welcome once again to our channel and today we are on uh, one fold which is owned by Cartec ventures right yeah so this object we've seen here um i think it's a container we'll call it a container but then the experts will give us the specific name that is um given to this particular object we've seen here so what they are doing now is um, charcoal production so they are producing charcoal with the help of this particular object you've seen here the reason why you've seen smokes all around the object or the container we see here well we have our brother here this gentleman you see here he goes by the name simon yeah. mr simon how is it yeah. so everything is fine Charlie, we came around and we seen that you are doing some massive works here yeah. and we were told you guys are using a container to produce charcoal yeah. most of us growing up you don't know about this we only know about the orthodox method of doing charcoal where you heap the sand uh, cut leaves, gather it for some number of days, currently be checking it. But we seen different things all together here. Can you give us some education about it? Okay, thank you very much. Mm. Uh, as you can see, yeah. it's a container moved by a very mm. hard or let's say resist resisted mm. metal. Metal, okay. Mm. So, mm. it is useful. Okay making the charcoal okay and then we give to this charcoal making machine charcoal making machine all right uh -huh. uh, as you can see the gates mm -hmm. there's the gate there oh okay so mm -hmm. this way is talking about the gate here mm -hmm. so we we open uh -huh. we open here uh -huh. we open these gates mm -hmm. okay we pack the wood inside okay yeah after packing the wood inside mm -hmm. there's a way to arrange it inside it so I would like if we should see it from the beginning but uh, yeah, yeah we are late so i think we can see this side here yeah. okay. so the wood has been packed inside so after packing the wood you have to close here mm -hmm. after you close here then you set fire inside it mm. through this hose oh, okay around it all mm -hmm. oh, okay yeah, oh. so these are all the fire setting points yeah, yeah. it's surrounding all yeah, yeah. oh, okay so what do you put inside before you set the fire? Do you use kerosene or no. what do you use? Yeah, we use normal fire. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, we set that fire there. Oh, okay. After it's lit, charcoal mm -hmm. with the fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. We put it inside through this boost. Okay. There's a way we set it under it mm -hmm. in the container. Okay. So when you put the fire through here inside the container. It touches fire inside. Okay. So that is why we do it around. Alright. That the fire will catch from every part of the wood. Oh, the surrounding wood, they automatically it picks yeah. and go to the top. Okay. Inside. Mm -hmm. We don't add any, whether, whether any kerosene or petrol or anything. Okay. Yes. The normal way, like how the. You set fire at home. No, uh, the local one is. Okay. This one is because we are doing it in a container. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference. We don't add uh, sun and glasses to it like okay. how we do the local one. Oh okay. So you only pack the wood inside. Mm -hmm. After packing it you close the door and you set the fire in. And for it to work well for you, after setting the fire in all, mm -hmm. you allow it to catch fire. And we check it through the top. Okay. Through the fire. That's where the smokes are coming from. Yeah. Oh okay. We check it whether it catch fire well or it doesn't catch fire mm -hmm. from the top. Mm -hmm. So after it cast fire finish, you have to close some of the hose. Okay. And allow some mm -hmm. so that air can be passing through here inside the, the container. The container okay. To be inside the fire, not to quench. Alright. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So after you allow those hose, then you allow some of the hose down mm -hmm. and you close the rest. Mm -hmm. When it works about six or seven hours, mm -hmm. you have to close the ones you allow. Okay. Then you open the other ones that you close. So that the fire will not work at only one side. It work it across. Work around the oh, okay. So right. when you start, uh, you put some places, you open some places. When you work about seven hours, you close the first place, then you open another place. Oh. Yeah. You'll be doing that, you'll be checking that after two, four days. Oh. Yeah. But you are talking about seven hours, meaning you are going to be around or you're going yeah, to come yeah. back. Because if seven hours from morning, you'd have to when sleep out. Mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to sleep here. Whoa. So that you can monitor everything well. 
So oh, okay. Yeah. So with this, if you believe mm -hmm. everything is moving where well, you can go and come. Oh okay. That's how it works. Oh, that's great. It's not necessarily you'll be here with it. All right. But when you start, mm -hmm. from the start, you have to be here and monitor everything. Okay. So when you see that how you want it to go, mm -hmm. it's like that. Then you can go and come back. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So talking about you go and come back, how effective is this one as compared to the orthodox one you'll be using, like the old? the one you would fetch the sun and go this and that one which one is more convenient yeah this one the the local one mm -hmm. sometimes you feel difficulties getting glasses to cover it okay sometimes it is not raining to the grind hard mm -hmm. you can't cover it with the sun okay but this one it's not like that mm -hmm. you just pack it inside you set your fire okay and when you work finish the charcoal look more nicer than the local one too. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. As you can see the charcoal. Oh, you have some produce here, so maybe we can see things for ourselves. So we also hear him he said some of the charcoals, most of these ones look nicer as compared to the previous, like the orthodox ones, the, 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 the local one. So here you go. So this is a typical example of what you think. This looks so beautiful. So it's not just exaggerating, but then they all look beautiful and it looks big too. And it's like this is purely from factory. Yeah. He's right. He's right. So I think so far so good is what they produce so far. How many bags here so far? I think we are having mm -hmm. 35 bags in all. Oh wow. So let me ask this question. Coming to the how huge the whole thing is, how many bags can you be able to produce? Yeah. Probably within a day. What's the work time frame? Is it a day or two? How many can you produce? the whole container the machine works for four days four days all right uh, yeah so within that mm -hmm. the charcoal burns for four days uh -huh. you off it at least two days before you start removing the charcoal okay and uh, it depends how the wood burns inside mm -hmm. how it is right now if every every wood inside is burned well mm -hmm. you get about 35 bucks 35 bucks for one load for one load yeah. okay but if it doesn't burn well mm -hmm. some the wood hasn't been right, you get that 25 bucks. 25 bucks, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, meaning what, what you are trying to tell me, that means within a week, you are able to produce 35 bucks within each week. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. So, that means if you should have more of these machines around, you should be producing more on a daily yeah. basis, yeah. which can even be used in exportation. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. That is the plan. Yeah, that. that plan. Oh, okay. So, meaning you guys are working towards exportation of charcoal. That is the plan. Uh -huh. And in terms of the durability too. I know when our people usually use the local method. Sometimes they come by themselves so, and the charcoal is, is burning too fast. I don't know if you'll be hearing about it. Sometimes it burns too fast. Uh, what about this process too? Do you like any incidents of that sort also be okay in this console? Yes, this one too is like it's just like a local one. Mm -hmm. Like uh, as I I show you from the beginning, mm -hmm. that some of the holes must be closed and some must be open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how you should do it. Mm -hmm. And if, if it doesn't do it that way, you allow all the holes open. Mm -hmm. It should do the same way the local one goes. Oh, okay. But when, the, when the, there's more air going inside, mm -hmm. the fire will be catching fire uh, oh, very fast. fast. Oh, okay. And okay. Do not burn the charcoal way. Mm -hmm. You rather burn it to ashes. Oh, okay. So you need to monitor it so that more air will not go inside. Too. Oh, okay. Okay, so here you see you have to be monetizing it. Yeah. And in terms of the locks, I'm seeing locks all over here. And these locks I'm seeing are being bossed. Uh, I think that's the name, general name for it. And uh, so these are all being bought, you see here. Uh, is this something that you guys planted? Because when it comes to this business, meaning you have to also encourage afforestation. Because you are chopping down the trees. So is this something that you guys planted and are using for this work or? Yes, we planted it. Oh, okay. You're having, you're having about 300 to 400 acres. You don't mean it. Oh, so how long have you planted this? Down there. If it will not be too far where you can walk there and see. Oh, I think I have to visit there. Yeah, yeah because. Our own thing that we planted, that we are cutting. Our viewers would love to see. Because sometimes when you see it, people don't see it. They'll doubt that will, maybe they are causing deforestation and they are just exaggeration. So I think I have to so walk there. From our own <laughs> plantation. Oh, yeah. that is good. You guys are doing massive work. Since when have you started this? So we started last year, December. Last year, December. And so far, how many have you produced, like, quantity? Uh, when the machine, when they got the machine mm -hmm. earlier, the person that came to show us how to mm -hmm. process it, you know, it doesn't take time for it. So 
the first one we couldn't get anything. Oh, I see. I see. I mean, usually that's happening. Uh, after, mm -hmm. after more competition, yeah. the, 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 the one who produced the machine, who manufactured the machine, mm -hmm. he himself came here to show us how to go oh, about it. All right. So, effectively, before we started producing what we want, mm -hmm. starting from last month. Last month. Yeah. And the result has been great. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. like the previous time. Oh, that's great. That that's great. This one, yeah, everything is going well. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of purchasing, should someone want to buy like huge quantities, and if they should contact you, will they be able to get? Oh. And how much is a sub going for? They would love to know so that should somebody, for example, somebody might watch the video and say, oh, then the charcoal looks very nice. I would love to, you know, get charcoal from them. How, how is it? How much is it going for? And what are the terms and conditions? We are selling one bag for 150. 150 CDs. Oh, that's nice. I think that's cheap. 150 Ghana CDs is cheap. Because we do it in a way that it can be easy for everyone that needs something to buy. Oh, okay. Because from here to the town, the, the transport and everything, mm -hmm. it will cost the person. So when you also get the TV here, and it will be very. Oh, then that's cool. That's what you want from yourself. So now you've given out the price. Somebody might feel like oh, I don't want to contact me. Yeah, I'm not the one producing it, so you just have to mention your contact number so that should, in case somebody needs it, somebody might pick it on the screen and contact you. So you just mention it, then the viewers will surely see it on the screen. They pick it up. This is a free advert you are making out there for people to you know just get in touch with you. Okay. So kindly call your number so that they can pick it up. Yeah. Call my number on mm -hmm. 0545 mm -hmm. 944 170. Mm -hmm. All right. Five four five nine four four one seven zero. All right. So you should just head in and they say a sack. The sack you see, this particular sack you see here, it is going to. This is number five sack, and it is going for one hundred and fifty Ghana cedis. It's very cheap because I know a price of bags of charcoal in markets in the cities and co. So if they should go about this and that, you and it's. I think you just have to you know contact them and also get something. So all this you see here. Each sack goes for 150 Ghana cities. So, like he stated, they have the um, container here. This is what he's talking about. So, I'm going to walk around it all so that you see how the whole thing looks like. So, this is the container, and this is these are the um, fire points that he's talking about. I hope these are the fire points you were mentioning. So, this is used in setting fire. So, they put the fires here. So, if you want to set up fire, put it here. Put some here. So what's this for? This down in the beneath here. What's yeah, in the The air you are expecting mm -hmm. for the machine is not enough. Yeah. Train, yeah. So, so this an exit point for yeah, air. Yeah. Oh, okay. So entrance and exit point. So these are all fire points. Here. I'm seeing this pipe also here. So what's the purpose of this pipe? Here? I'm yeah. seeing it. Here. When you close, mm -hmm. you see how I told you from the, mm -hmm. from the beginning that mm -hmm. you open some place and close some. Well, the place you open, you have to put this pipe there. Okay, Where okay. The smoke will not be coming out from here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Pass the pipe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. some of the smoke has to be made inside the machine. Okay. Some has to come out. Oh, okay. So if you allow here, the smoke will be coming out too much. Oh, okay. The one that's supposed to remain in the machine to work on the wood. It will not be able to work. It will not be effective. Oh, that's great. Then we put the pipe here. Oh, okay. All right. So how about this one to this design we see here? This one. There's a pipe mm -hmm. inside this one, mm -hmm. but it must be protected. Okay. That's why we use this cover to cover it. Oh, okay. it this pipe inside it to the machine. Okay. It also brings out smoke okay. on the machine. Oh, okay. All right. So viewers, we just heard him. He has given us a vivid explanation of the container. Yeah, they said they call it charcoal making machine. So I'm going to take a distance behind it. You see it from afar. See how huge it is. This is very huge. So this is how huge the whole thing looks like. And these are the locks. They have here so all the logs they have here they planted them they were trees that they planted and they are now chopping down the trees to use in the production of the charcoal we seen that so once again they say a star goes for 150 ghana city so the contact will be displayed on the screen and you pick it so we'll be visiting the farm that they planted the trees at and you see so there you go this is a charcoal processing machine or charcoal maker so until then catch you in another episode but please if this is your first time of visiting our channel we please and urging with you to you know hit on the subscription button you see on the screen turn on the post notification bell that whenever i upload new videos you would get notified and also view share your thoughts with us in the comment section and please don't forget to like until then 
catch you in another episode. Alright, so we also have stated in a video like you, they were explaining that they have things that they planted all around, which is used. This nature of all these trees, you see, these green balls, they planted them themselves and they usually chop them down. And this one we use in producing the charcoals that we see, all the logs we've seen among them. These particular ticks are the ones that they usually chop down and use in producing or making the charcoal. So, in effect, uh, they are also encouraging the forestation. So, once they chop down the trees, then the little ones here go in. Anybody that knows much of a main law can attest to the fact that these are kind of trees that hardly die up because you know, when you chop them off, the more they love it, the seeds do spread around and when they scatter around, they do germinate and grow again. So these ticks you see here can be here for so many decades, so many centuries, they just keep multiplying each and every day, each and every year. Multiplication will be coming right here. So uh, this is a very good initiative from them because to be able to plant all these things here for so many years now that they planted this thing here. I think I think uh, from what I heard I think I was told this was planted more than three the kids said. Today they're back here on the field and they are uh, chopping them down, some of them down and they are using them to produce the charcoal. We see in there so that's it about the charcoal processing machine and where they get their raw material also from. So the process 